I'm going to show you how to add a slider to your charts to make your graphs interactive. I have a very simple chart here, graph of data here, and I have, um, let's say I'm producing a book, and so the number of books, um, the price changes because of the setup um, for producing these books. So if you get 10 books printed, it'll cost you $8.79, and if you get 200 books printed, it'll cost you uh, $4.75 per book. On this table, value here is what I'm deciding for the selling price for this book. So what these formulas have here is they've got um, this value, absolute, making it an absolute value, and I minus the cost per book. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and insert a chart. So now I have a chart on, on my page here, and what I've got here is I have um, the orange is the profit and the blue is the cost of the book, uh, printing. So now I'm trying to figure out what a good selling price would be for this book. So um, my, my selling price right now is at $14. That's just a number I picked out of my head. So now let's put um, a slider on here to, so we can see what the difference in selling price would mean to our profit. Okay, so let's go to the developer tab. And then we have our toolbox here and we're going to click on the insert and we're going to select these. And now what we're going to do is we're going to draw it right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that and we're going to select format control. Now the number that I'm trying to figure out is this one right here, the 14. So let's uh, click the little red arrow and let's click on the 14 and then we can click back on the little red arrow. Okay, so the minimum I would probably sell this book for is let's say uh, $10 and the maximum I would sell it for is uh, let's say $30. Okay. So now we say OK. And so now what we've got, it's got reset to $10 here. So now with our little slider here, when we click away so that it's not active, we can click drag across and then just wait for the graph to catch up. And you can see where it starts to be profitable. So um, we probably wouldn't uh, order 10 books. We'd probably order, oh, probably minimum of 100. And so now, uh, now you can see that if you charge about $17 for these books, or you can play around with it and you can get, you can determine what a good selling price would be for these books by using this chart. So that's how you add a slider to your chart to make it interactive. Please subscribe.